All right. So, in this video, we are going to be dealing with aluminium chloride. Oops. Aluminium chloride, AlCl3. So first, we're given this. You know, if you're given an equation, you might as well balance it. So three. Need this to be an even number. That's six. So we'll put a three there. And then we need two aluminium. There, it's balanced. So, in this question, we're given 2.70 grams of aluminium. So M equals 2.70 grams. Right? And we're given 7.1 grams of chlorine. So, 7.10 grams. M. And we want to know the maximum mass of the this one maximum mass that we will produce from this. Who's limiting? And so how much is the maximum mass that we can get if this proceeds all the way? So let's, uh, let's do a little bit of work. So this molar mass will go to our table of periodic elements. We see aluminium is 26.982. 26.982 grams per mole. And so therefore, number of moles, we'll get approximately 0 0.1 moles. 0 0.100 mole or 100 millimoles, depending on how you go. Chlorine, molar mass. And keep in mind, this is Cl2, so it's going to be two times that. And there's chlorine, 35 decimal 453, 45 decimal, no, 35, my bad. 35 decimal 453, and there's two of them, so that should be 70 decimal 906. Mole, or grams per mole. Seven zero zero decimal nine zero six grams per mole. So number of moles seven point one grams divided by seven zero point nine zero six grams per mole. We're gonna get again about point one zero zero moles. So we got about the same. We'll say it's the same anyway, it's approximately. Uh, so, which one's going to be the limiting reactant here? Well, let's look at the final equation, shall we? We've got two moles of aluminium to two moles of this, three moles of chlorine to two moles of this. So what's the better ratio in this case for favoring this reaction? Who's going to run out first? So 2 to 2 or 3 to 2? That's an that's interesting ratio. Basically, you have to look at it. You have to say 2 moles of this is going to be like 2 moles of this is going to be 2 moles of that. 3 moles of this is going to be 2 moles of that. So 0 0.1 moles of this is going to be 0.1 moles of that. 0.1 moles of this is going to be 0.1 moles times, uh, what is it? 0.1 moles of Cl2 times 2 moles of this divided by 3 moles of this. So 2 thirds, this is obviously going to be limiting then. So limiting. Cl2 limit. That's the limiting reagent right there. So, what is the mass of AlCl3, or like what is the maximum, yeah, maximum mass is what we're looking for. Uh, that'll be produced. So, N produced equals 0.1 moles Cl2. And this is where units are very, very helpful units are your friend in these calculations because you don't want to use the wrong factor. So you have two moles AlCl3 
Cl3 over 3 moles of Cl2 equals and we get it is 0 0.0666 repeating. Zero. Whoa! Groovy man. Zero point zero six six seven moles. And yeah, that's that's nice. So that's the number of moles produced. Now, mass equals that times the molar mass. Well, what's the molar mass? Molar mass is Al, Cl3. There's Al. 26.982 grams per mole, plus 3 times whatever the chlorine is, 35.453 grams per mole. And we're going to get about 133.341 grams per mole of the product. So, multiply that by 0 0.06666 repeating, or whatever, and you'll get 8.89 grams. So, assuming full reaction, that is the mass of the product that you will receive. Happy days, happy days. So. Apparently this microphone has started picking up electromagnetic fields, so I'm going to exploit this. The following is me placing my microphone near a clock radio.